एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल अर्थशास्त्र क्लासेस दिस इज़ अ रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो वन ऑफ आर सब्सक्राइबर रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू प्रोवाइड द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन द यूटिलिटी फंक्शन फंक्शन यू अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई वे आर एक्स एंड वाई आर द टू गुड्स दैट आर कंज्यूमर कंज्यूम्स द फंक्शन इज एक्स रिज टू दावर वन बाय फाइव इन टू वाई रिज टू दी पावर फोर बाय फाइव इट्स अ कॉप डॉगलेस यूटिलिटी फंक्शन वी आर गिवेन दी पी एक्स एज द प्राइज ऑफ गुड एक्स पी वाई एज प्राइज ऑफ गुड वाई एंड एम इज द इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर फ्रॉम दिस गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन वी कैन राइट द बजट कंस्टेंट ऑफ द कंज्यूमर विच इज पी एक्स टाइम्स एक्स विच इज द एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ कंज्यूमर ऑन द कंजम्पन ऑफ गुड एक्स प्लस पी वाई टाइम्स वाई which is the expenditure of a consumer on consumption of good y less than or equal to m which is his total income so in first part we are asked to find out the uncompensated demand functions for good x and y uncompensated demand functions are also known as valuation demand functions or marshallian demand functions or ordinary demand functions so keep these terms in mind uh, the detailed representation of this type of numerical has all already been uploaded by me on the channel you can go and watch those videos for a detailed representation set up the utility maximization problem as maximum of utility subject to the budget constraint and positive quantities of the two goods next we set up the lagrangian for the above utility maximization problem we set the lagrangian as l equals to the given utility function plus lambda times r budget constraint where lambda is an unknown lagrangian multiplier now our next step is to differentiate the lagrangian function with respect to the variables in this problem we have three variables that is x y and lambda so to find the first order conditions of a maximization problem we will differentiate we will partially differentiate the lagrangian function with respect to these variables and then we will set the derivative equal to 0 so we have the differentiation of l with respect to x as del l by del x because it's partial differentiation so we have written it del not d equals to since utility function with respect to x we will get 1 by 5 times x raised to the power minus 4 by 5 times y raised to the power 4 by 5 we are treating by raised to the power 4 by 5 as constant while partially differentiating the lagrangian function or the utility function with respect to x minus lambda times px equals to 0 on solving it further we will get 1 by 5 times x raised to the power minus 4 by 5 times y raised to the power 4 by 5 equals to lambda times px we mark this equation as equation number 2 now we will differentiate the lagrangian function with respect to y so treating x as constant we have the differentiation as 4 by 5 times x raised to the power 1 by 5 times y raised to the power minus 1 by 5 minus lambda times py setting the derivative equal to 0 and solving it further we get 4 by 5 times x raised to the power 1 by 5 times y raised to the power minus 1 by 5 equals to lambda times py differentiating it with respect to lambda we get m minus px times x minus py times y setting the derivative equal to 0 we get the budget constraint equation now on dividing the equation number 2 by equation number 3 we get and doing some manipulations as you can see on your screen we get the equation number 5 which is our equilibrium condition of consumer so we have the equilibrium condition as y times y divided by 4 by x equals to px upon py now on rearranging the equilibrium condition or we can say for solving for good y we get y equals to 4x times px divided by py now we will substitute this value of y into our equation number 4 to find out the uncompensated demand function for good x so we write substituting the value of y in equation 4 we get 
px times x plus py we will replace y with 4x times px divided by py so py py cancels out we are left with x times px plus 4x times px equals to m on adding them we get 5x px equals to m so we have the uncompensated demand function for good x as x star equals to m divided by 5 times px now we will substitute our equation number 7 in equation number 6 to find out the uncompensated demand function for good y so we have y star as 4 times px upon py times x star which equals to 4 times px over py putting the value of x star we get m over 5 times px 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 cancels out we are left with 4m divided by 5 py this is our uncompensated demand function for good y so we represent the uncompensated demand functions as x star a function of px py and m equals to 1 by 5 times m over px this is the uncompensated demand function for good x and for good y we have y star a function of px py m equals to 4 by 5 times m over py so this is an uncompensated demand function for both the goods and we are done with part a moving forward to part b we are asked to find composite demand functions uh, composite demand functions are also known as Hickson demand functions so to solve for Hickson demand functions we set up the expenditure minimization problem in which consumer aims to minimize his expenditure on consumption of two goods by maintaining a certain level of utility so we set up the expenditure minimization problem as minimum of expenditure equals to px times x plus py times y because this term represents the expenditure of the consumer subject to the utility constraint x raised to the power 1 by 5 times y raised to the power 4 by 5 greater than or equal to u bar where u bar is a stipulated level of utility which our consumer aims to achieve similarly we will set up the lagrangian function for expenditure minimization problem and we will solve for first order conditions as we did earlier so we will set up lagrangian as px times x plus p by times y plus mu times u bar minus x raised to the power 1 by 5 times y raised to the power 4 by 5 which is a utility function where mu is an another Lagrange multiplier we will differentiate L with respect to x y and mu which are the variables and will set the derivatives equal to 0 so on partially differentiating L with respect to x we get px times minus mu times 1 by 5 into x raised to the power minus 4 by 5 times y raised to the power 4 by 5 we will set the derivative equal to 0 and we will get equation number 9 similarly for differentiating l by variable y and mu we will get the equations 10 and 11 on dividing equation 9 by equation 10 we will derive the same equilibrium condition which we derived earlier as you can see the conditions equation number 12 and equation number 6 are same so this is our consumer equilibrium condition so either we solve it from utility maximization problem or expenditure minimization problem these are going to be same so we will substitute value of this equilibrium condition in equation number 11 so we have x raised to the power 1 by 5 times 4x px by p y whole raised to the power 4 by 5 equals to u bar on rearranging these terms we get x star equals to u bar divided by 4 times px by p y whole raised to the power 4 by 5 this is our compensated demand function for good x now to find the compensated demand function for good y we will substitute the value of x star in equation 12 so we have 
y star equals to 4 times px over py into x star so in place of x star we will substitute the compensated demand function of for good x which we have just found so we substitute u bar divided by 4 times px by py whole raised to the power 4 by 5 taking denominator to the numerator by reciprocating it we get u bar times 4 by 4 times px by py times 4 px divided by py whole raised to the power 5 by 4 because we have reciprocated the term on doing some calculations so we will derive the uncompensated demand function for good y as y star equals to u bar 4 times px over py whole raised to the power 9 by 4 we represent the composited demand functions as h1 a function of px py a stipulated level of utility u bar as for good x we have u bar times 4 into px by py whole raised to the power 5 by 4 this is our composited demand function for good x and for good y we have h2 a function of px py and u bar as u bar times 4 into px by py whole raised to the power 9 by 4 so this is our solution for the requested question i hope you find this video helpful please subscribe to the channel and uh, share it with your friends so